Hey everybody, my name is Jack Arnold with Arnold Electric. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video is all about grounding, right? Grounding so awesome. <laughs> oh God, I'm so nerdy. Uh, this is kind of nerdy electrician talk here, but you know, you, you may be, you're probably a homeowner watching this and curious about it anyway. So what is a ground? A ground is like a semi runaway ramp that you'd see like in the hills in Colorado, right? One of those gravel ramps. It's got like, you know, three feet of gravel to slow the semi down. Your, that's what your ground is basically. It's a path for stray voltage to be dissipated to without anybody getting hurt. So I got a panel open here and let's take a look at this panel real quick here, okay? So if we come a little bit closer here, we can see a couple ground wires in here, right? This panel is energized, so I'm gonna be careful, but there's a ground wire here. There's a ground wire, a couple ground wires going up pipes this side. But if you look over here, there's not a ground wire going in every pipe up here and that's because in a conduit system like this i'm going to explain how grounds are made first okay before i get into this okay so first your grounds are made by a driven grounding electrode outside your meter that's actually people think that's your primary source of ground but that ground rod driven in the ground it's called your nerd speak here grounding electrode and then you have the grounding electrode conductor that goes up in the meter the ground wire, right? That's a made and supplemental. That's a secondary point of ground. Your main point of grounding in your electrical system is the plumbing pipe that comes in from the city utility, your main water source coming in. That pipe that goes 10 feet into the ground and out towards the street is your main grounding electrode, okay? So, now, let's jump back into this panel. Why the heck aren't there grounds going up every pipe? Because those made electrodes and that water grounding electrode is tied in here through this neutral wire, okay? So the ground and the neutral wire, the, the neutral wire is your grounded conductor. So those two are tied in together. And then this neutral through here, if you get a little bit closer here, there's this screw right here. That's called your bonding screw. So that's bonding that neutral bar to the frame of this panel here. And then when these pipes are in the top of the panel with a lock nut on it and the pipes are metal, the pipe acts as your ground. Okay, so if you live in the Chicagoland area and you have a conduit system and you don't see a ground wire in your pipe, that's why. Okay, so I'm back at the training wall now to give you a little more in-depth visual of that there's no uh, ground going through pipes inside your house. So this little mock-up I have, and you can see there's a ground wire in this cord here, coming out right here. Um, and that's because the cord, this ground wire plugs into those outlets over there. And since this is plastic, you need to bond this metal stuff. So this actually gets wrapped around a ground screw that would go right here in this little dimpled part of the box here. So now this would be regrounded. But let's say it was hard pipe all the way over here. You wouldn't see a ground at all. But how the heck do you get the outlets grounded? There's a ground screw on here, man, but like there's no ground wire to attach it to, right? Like, where do, what do I do? Well, these are auto grounding outlets, okay? So you can see this ground screw is attached to this bracket, which has this screw in it which has this special auto grounding tab in here, different than the top one. So when you put this outlet into the drywall ring, that's a grounded system through the conduit, the ground is connected to the outlet by just screwing the outlet in. It's crazy, right? So that's a little bit about grounding, probably more than he wanted to know, but you know, jack of all trades ain't gonna tell you any of this stuff because he don't know any of this. Um, at Arnold Electric, all of our guys know this stuff. Most of our guys are licensed electricians. We're bonded, licensed, and insured through and through. Check us out at arnoldelectric.com. If you don't believe me, uh, check out our reviews. Give us a try. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks.